Welcome back to the channel. So today, it's D-Day. We're headed to Cali. I'm going, going, back, back. Anyway, um, so I'm a little early. We're not supposed to leave for like another two hours. But being that this is my first trip out of town working, um, I want to make sure I got everything I need, one, and that I'm prepared. So it's 10 o'clock. We're headed out a little bit early. We got to make a quick stop over at the Apple store uh, simply because I need the plug to charge my phone and play audio through my phones all at the same time. For those of you iPhone users know that you can only do one or the other. So that's why you need the extra adapter to be able to do both at the same time. So I didn't think of that until this morning. Otherwise, I would have done that on my two days off. That ah, well. So like I said, we're headed over to the Apple Store in Santan Mall. Um, we'll grab that thingamajig real quick. And then we'll head over to Mesa to the yard, get to the bus, get it all checked out. Boom, boom, boom. Out we go. And I forgot my freaking shirt. So what do we have to do now? Gotta turn around and go. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad I'm only down the street before I figure that out. Otherwise, I would have just been driving this polo on. All right, so now we got to go back to the house, get my driving shirt, or my, my white shirt, you know, my captain looking shirt with the things on the collar or the shoulders. Um, so let's try this again. All right, people, what's up? So we're on the coach. Coach is all ready to go. Um, as you can see, I got my shirt. D hooked me up. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're on the coach. She's all ready, ready to rock and roll. They actually switched the coach out that I was originally supposed to take to this one, which shout out to my operations manager, Amy. Good looking out, Amy. Uh, this coach here is actually a lot nicer. So, praise God for that. Anyway, my lead driver is actually driving one of our newer buses. 622 right there. But hey, it's all good. It's my first road trip. Bus is actually hot back here. It doesn't really matter. Nobody's gonna be on the bus until tomorrow. So, bag, water, wallet, doing a check, eyeglasses. I don't go nowhere without bang, especially on a long road trip. Bang is of the utmost importance. Uh, matter of fact, and bang isn't sponsoring me to you know promote their stuff or anything like that. I just love it. Zuri. Zuri don't ever talk to nobody. I think she's mean. Like, how you gonna be working with people? And then when they try to say hi to you, you don't say hi back. It's just rude. Whatever. If you want to be like that, then you be like that. Let's see if we can post this right here for real quick. What's up? Let's get the tunes tracking. Box. Get my playlist ready. Let's put it back on. 
Chuy. Sounds is working. I ain't trying to, you know, get no copyright infringements, so we're gonna turn that off. Woo! Alright. Um so we ready, man. I got my hat up here. Glasses on. Check. Um I got everything I need. As far as I know. Let's do one final check. Unlock the cargo bay. And y'all come with me. <laughs> All right, so we just gonna make sure I got my bags and I have everything else that I need. has the same thing on the other side all right I don't want them waiting on me so make sure I'm back in my seat ready to rock and roll and let's lift the bus this thing I picked up at the Apple store real quick so this is the adapter I was talking about it allows me to plug my music in but it also allows me to charge my phone when battery starts going down so Charles, but I told 
told them I'm gonna be calling them Chuck. So, great news though. The hotel is actually right across the street from the outlet mall. So my man Chris actually needs some shoes. So I'm gonna uh, go over there today when we get to the hotel, get settled in. I'm gonna shoot over there and see if we can find him some shoes. Uh, you know, see if they got anything nice for him. Cause my man is struggling. I think she said uh, she paid for it with her credit card. No, no, it's just the reservation Oh, okay. I have a credit card. I have a couple of credit Okay, cards. okay. All right. Company pays for the room at a Hampton Inn. Ooh, and it's a suite. Got a clean bed, no smoking, which I don't much care because I don't smoke unless it's a good cigar. All right, well, they see me rolling. They hey, tan, lock that door. All right, people, we out. Um, we'll see y'all in a bit. What's up, people? So, we are entering California. Colorado River, right there. Boom. Um, there's an inspection area, commercial vehicle. We might have to stop. I don't know yet. But, officially, wait for it, wait for it. In California right now. So, we're in Cali. Uh, we've been driving 12, 1, 2, 3, 3 hours. And we're in Cali, so that's pretty good. Um, I imagine we're going to have to go into the inspection area. I don't know. So, we'll see you in a little bit. What's up? So I've been stuck in traffic. Or we all, as you can see, everybody. For the last 43 minutes. Forty-three. I went from my estimated time of arrival was 6.45, right? We stopped, had lunch, which is now a requirement when you enter the state of California. You gotta take a 30 minute break. So we did that. 7.15. Got back on the bus. Or not 7.15, it's not even 7.15. Got back on the bus. Then our estimate time of arrival was 7.15. Now, we've been stuck in traffic for, the, for, for, like I said, now, 44 minutes. Estimated time of arrival, 8.25. Not happy. I don't know exactly what happened, what's going on. According to the map, it says we're entering the last time in traffic. Two minutes. Okay. So in two minutes, or hopefully less than two minutes, we'll find out exactly what the heck is going on up here. My right foot and leg is exhausted from hitting the brake, going to gas, hitting the brake, going to gas. It's exhausting. The sun is beaming down on my face. Anyway, so 40, 45 minutes and like 12 miles. Somebody's car better be upside down or something for all of this mess. 
not that I would wish anybody any harm. I'm just saying. Like, what the heck, bro? This is why I couldn't live in California. I couldn't. I don't know who drives worse. Arizona people or Californians? Californians. Arizonians or Californians? I should probably take a post. Dude, the truck right there looking at me like I'm crazy, like I'm talking to myself. But he don't know I'm talking to y'all. Warner. Get out of here, bro. Anyway. Um. But yeah. While I got you guys on here and I'm really not doing too much. If you haven't subscribed, that little red bar you see is probably like right over here on the screen. Like right there. Go ahead and hit that thing that says subscribe. You dig? And also make sure you click that little bell right there so you'll get post notifications. Um, and then while we're at it, come on, give this video a like. Let me get a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? I greatly appreciate y'all. Uh, it's clearly raining over there. And I hope it stays over there. I want no part to that. Um, so, anyway, it's Thursday. It's 527. My estimated time of arrival is still three hours. Why? Well, it's been about two minutes and I still don't see nothing. I did just see two CHPs fly past California Highway Patrol. Uh, two up. So, hopefully within the next 47 seconds. I don't know where I came up with that number. But, uh, hopefully, you know, soon here, we'll find out what the heck is going on. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Because I sure am. Oh, man. I'm tired. It's going to be time to pop that other bang here in a minute. I still got three hours drive. And we're out in the in the, in the outskirts of, uh, of California. We still haven't entered, like, you know, the populated area. We got to drive through San Bernardino. Um roughly we are in the area of like 29 palm uh marine base how do i know that glad you ask because my brother's a marine he's actually my brother-in-law but i don't believe in that crap i just call him my brother no he doesn't look like me he's a little shorter than me he's a lot smaller than me but nonetheless, still my brother. Shout out to him if he ever sees this video. Shout out to the Marines. Shout out, you know, period. Shout out to our military, which is who I'm going to pick up. But shout out to our military anyway um, for all that they do, all they sacrifice. Uh, and I'm not going to go through all the list or go through the list of all the sacrifices that they make. They know, and we as civilians should know um, what they go through. Now, there's some things, obviously, that we don't know what they go through uh, because we're not in that situation. But uh, everything that they do for this country, uh, on my behalf, and a few other people as well, is greatly appreciated. Um, so, yeah, shout out to him. And all those gentlemen and ladies as well. Uh, Billy, actually, he's the driver that's going to be taking over after. Well, we'll meet Billy tomorrow in New Mexico. Billy's a, a retired Marine. He's a retired E-9. So basically what that means is he was a first sergeant major, I believe. I think that's what he said his rank was. So he was an officer. Um, nope, still see traffic. What the heck is going on? Come on. Estimated time of arrival? 828. It's ridiculous. I just want to get to the hotel. 
need to go to the gas station first. Fuel this beast up. She's got a 250 gallon tank. She gets thirsty. Uh, what else can we talk about? Man, all these hawks. Holy cow. These eagles, hawks, eagles, whatever they are. It's like a gang of them. Way, way above uh, the bus. And they all just soaring, soaring like eagles. Okay, uh, uh, a repair truck just went up to the front. Uh, I can't wait to push this pedal down. Let's see my speedometer just go. I can't wait. I can't wait to get off this bus and be done for the night. How about them apples? That's what I can't wait for. Sheesh. There's a huge cloud right there. I don't know if you just saw the sun disappear. I pray that there's no rain. That's that's my prayer right now. Oh man. I've been driving since 12 o'clock, y'all. And it's 532. supposed to be there so on a technicality in the next 28 minutes because it's 532 in the next 28 minutes I should have been at the hotel pulling up to the hotel in 28 minutes 27 minutes now no I got another two hours and 56 minutes to drive pray for me pray for me come on somebody Um, I do got my music playing, but like I said, we don't want no uh, copyright infractions against us here on the channel. We're not about that life, so I won't hear it. Oh, so I hit y'all with the subscribe and the likes and the thumbs up, or whatever, on this video. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, IG, whatever, at Life of Sean Evans. I'm going to post the link down below in the description. Y'all can go check me out there. Give me a follow on there. Uh, that way, like I said, when we post videos and we just got different things going on, y'all can be kept in the loop. And you can follow me on Snap chat same name at, I'm in the process of changing that over but at life of Sean Evans Sean S-H-O-N Evans E-V-A-N-S oh yeah well let me see out of my 10 hour clock I got 5 hours and 20 minutes left at this rate, I'm going to use the whole dog on the clock. Are we moving? We move? Uh oh, shoot. We're about to hit 20 miles per hour. Stop. All right, well. We'll see you later. So, <clears throat> we're here. Finally made it um, to the hotel. It's 9:26. When I got fuel, so that way tomorrow morning we didn't have to worry about it. Um. Uh, so yeah.
but that's only the first part Ryan don't stop dig actually Ryan hasn't even started yet the Ryan will start mañana They say, oh, 0900. Sir! Sorry. Um, but yeah. drove a lot y'all like for real we drove exactly 400 miles um, it's actually 401 Initially, I thought we were going to get her in time so that I can go. Nike is right there, like, like right there. I was trying to go over there so I could uh, possibly look for Chris some, some new shoes, get him some new kicks, you know, kind of surprise him with some new shoes. But uh, it doesn't look like that is going to happen. So parking lot's empty, which means they're closed. Well, I mean, then again, it's 9.30, so. We are, like, like a few hours late, basically. Like, that's what that comes down to. A couple hours late. Um, but, we're here. And I'm about to go christen this bed. 